Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Farm Google. In today's video, I will discuss the treatment of atropine poisoning, focusing mainly on the use of anticholinesterase agents. Now, as we know that atropine is an anticholinergic drug, which means it will block the cholinergic receptors. Now, there are two types of cholinergic receptor: the muscarinic receptor and the nicotinic receptors. The muscarinic receptors are further classified into M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5, whereas the nicotinic receptor is classified into NM and NM. So, blocking the muscarinic receptor both at central and peripheral location, it will produce some symptoms like dry mouth, urinary tension, blurred vision, constipation, restlessness, hallucination, delirium. Disorientation. So we need to reverse this action, or we will, we will need to provide a symptomatic relief by giving some drug. In that case, we have to give cholinergic drug. Now, cholinergic drug are being classified into the directly acting agent and the indirectly acting agent. The directly acting agents are not much beneficial either because it is not widely available or it is too toxic for the systemic use should not be given systemically so directly acting agents are out of question among indirectly acting agents we have a reversible drugs and irreversible drugs irreversible drugs are not used because this will inhibit the enzyme irreversibly which we do not so, remaining is the reversible anticholinesterase agent. What is the use of this? What is the mechanism of this uh, group of drugs? It will inhibit the enzyme cholinesterase. What the cholinesterase do? Cholinesterase or acetylcholinesterase metabolize acetylcholine to choline plus acetate. Now, when inhibiting this enzyme, there will be more availability of the acetylcholine which we want to get because there is blockage of muscarinic receptor so acetylcholine cannot bind and acetylcholine medical action cannot happen so inhibiting this enzyme will lead to increased concentration of acetylcholine so increased substrate or increased acetylcholine will competitively replace the atropine from the receptors and that is how it is beneficial now among this anticholinesterase, that reversible anticholinesterase group, we have natural group and we have quaternary amine. Natural is the tertiary amine. The important feature is that it is lipid soluble. Being lipid soluble, it can cross the blood brain barrier. An example for this is partial So it will reverse the central action by crossing through the blood brain barrier as well as it will reverse the peripheral action of atropine. Wherever, wherever we see quaternary amine, here what will happen? Neo stimine is a polar compound and it cannot cross the blood brain barrier. When it cannot cross the blood brain barrier, it can only reverse the peripheral action but not the central action. So central action cannot be taken care of the quaternary amine or the neostimine, whereas phosphostimine can take care of both the central as well as peripheral action. So hope this video will help you in understanding why phosphostimine is preferred over neostimine for the treatment of atropine poisoning. This is one of the important pharmacological basis type of question which comes very frequently. So keep watching. Thank you so much.